Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back. Now before I begin, I'm gonna ask you guys to please click on every ad in or around my videos. I get a small cut, you guys get some great ads. Let's do this. So I'm starting a brand new tutorial series. Um and I'm gonna be making my um tutorials based upon Code Academy's Python lessons and I'm going to try to make them as similar as possible without having any copyright problems because copyright um I want to be able to monetize these videos and that basically gives me some type of revenue it's it's very small pennies actually unless a lot of you guys watch it and click on the ads um so yeah so we're in we're in the data type variables and data types part and we're in section one and this is how you name before you have to put after you name your stuff your file you have to put dot py in every file that you have it's just it's something that you always have to do so now let's let's begin really um All right, so rule number one. Lesson one, the most simple thing that you can learn in Python is how to print variables. I mean, just how to print. And this allows you to post up messages on, um, on the program. And what I'm doing right here is not how to print. What I'm doing right here is leaving reminders or comments whatever you want to call them I'll get into that later this is not how to print this is how to print it has to be lowercase to print and this is how you print print lowercase apostrophe YouTube now you so let's press F5 or you could just press save as or save and then you could run run your module run your module or just press F F5 and whoops don't want to show you guys my sneak peek um I've been developing something but I don't want to show you guys what I've been developing. See, hello YouTube. Basically what we did is we printed hello YouTube on the screen. Um The next thing that you could the next very basic thing is writing variables and variables are the same thing in every programming language. Just some are a bit different but they all function the same way think of variables as placeholders and you can store in numbers or you can store in sh um, strings and strings are just letters so let's say I have my variables na name is X and it has hi Henry Henry's my name by the way if you guys don't know so this is the variable 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 name is equal to hi Henry and you have to have this or else your program won't work this basically tells Python that you wanna you're writing you wanna um, use the text and you're basically writing a text text on the program in the program let's say you wanted your variable to be a number you could you could very well have it except this time you don't need this you don't need the apostrophes you just put in the number let's say like 18 f5 hello YouTube well you you ran the module and you're wondering why doesn't this show up I obviously define my variable well it doesn't show up because you haven't called it up so like we did before you have to really print this so you have to print your variable name 
and let's see what happens. Hello YouTube, hi Henry. That's what happens. Let's say you wanted to print your Y variable. Hello YouTube, hi Henry, 18. That's what happens in Python, it's the magic of it. Now in Python, just like in other programming languages, there are different data types like int, float, and boolean. In Java, there are much more, but we're focusing in Python for right now. Um, this is an integer. And think of float as this. Hold on. Um, float equals 1.2. Think of float as these types, like 1 point something something. And think of boolean as something like it's always true or it's false. That's really all it is. And you have to capitalize the F or the T. That's all boolean is. True or false. So with that, I'm going to ask you guys to please click on every ad in or around my videos. Add, like, subscribe, comment below on what you think. If you need any help on anything, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.